Hi guys, we're here today with Tony Jeremy, our architectural and design rep from Benjamin Moore, and we're going to have a little education today about Benjamin Moore. So what's new at Benjamin Moore? Uh, uh, well, we've got a couple of things that actually just launched. Um, we just came out with our color of the year. So every year it's a big celebration before the coming of the new year. Uh, it's a beautiful, fresh blush of a color, and it's also got a coordinating palette that that situates itself really nicely within the color of the year and what we're really looking for in terms of color trends. I remember back in the day, my parents even used Benjamin Moore to paint our house growing up. And what's a little bit of Benjamin Moore's history? They've been around so long, and can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, thank you for, uh, thank your parents for <laughs> yes. keeping us in business for so long. Uh, we actually began the company, Benjamin Moore and his brother began the company in 1883. It was a Brooklyn-born company, which is one of the reasons why we are so coastally strong. Sure. And then we moved, I think about 25 years ago, we moved up to northern New Jersey. We are now in our second location in northern New Jersey. Uh, so the company in the last maybe 12 years actually became a Berkshire Hathaway company, so now we belong to Warren Buffett. Yes, it's, um, it's nice to have him as your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We thank uh, Uncle Warren yes. for, uh, <laughs> for sponsoring our Lunch and Learns on a weekly basis. And Tony does the best Lunch and Learns out there. We're actually um, lucky enough to have hosted several of them, and they're, they're incredibly informative. So keep your eyes open for when we uh, announce dates or when Tony's announcing another date for our Lunch and Learn. Yeah, we currently have about 15 continuing education credit classes and about 32 architectural and design representatives around North America. Wow. So there pretty much is always something going on. I would always suggest if you don't know who your design representative is, then definitely to get in touch with Benjamin Moore Corporate and find out who that is. Is there a website to go where they announce the BenjaminMoore.com. So you there would you click go. on the architect and design link and just fill out the form Base, and they base it on basically your zip code as far as who your representative is going to be. So what is the role of an architectural designer rep for Benjamin Moore? I mean, I know you're out on the road doing Lunch and Learns a lot, but what else do you have to do all day? So Lunch and Learns and uh, public presentations are definitely a big component to what we do because we have to be brand ambassadors. We have to be the faces out there, the feet on the street, not just to pull in what information is going on as for different projects that will be painted, and pretty much everything that goes into construction is going to be painted at some point right but is to be that face so that an architect or a designer knows who we are and we can be at access to give them the color tools and the navigation that they need to understand our very complex color systems that encompass more than 3,500 different colors wow. uh, we also discuss paint products with them we have over a thousand different products uh, and we're always kind of discontinuing and recreating products under our different emerging brands like Coratech Industrial, um, Lenmar lacquers and stains and polyurethanes. We also own Coronado, which is really good for the DIY network and for painters. And we've got, what else? Wow, my brain is like escaping me. And we have Insulux, which also has really specialty primers. Things like, things that you can paint like the inside of a commercial freezer while the freezer is still on. So really interesting products. So I'm basically there to always be that liaison in the paint world to make sure that the paint schedules and the specifications have exactly the information that you're looking for based on what your customer's needs are going to be. So what is it that sets Benjamin Moore apart? Um, I know that there's different level of, there's gr different grade levels of paint out there. What makes Benjamin Moore a little bit, because the reason why we use it so much on all of our jobs, and like I said, my parents used it in their home, is because it is a better paint. Right. What is it that sets it apart from everybody else? So I always love to hear when, especially homeowners, are always demanding Benjamin Moore. Yes. Um, and, and they don't know the why. Time, they the just way. usually know why, that it happens to have better durability. It lasts a really long time. And the painter doesn't really walk out complaining about right. the process or the application of the product. But um, there are four components to paint. You've got the resin, which is kind of like the binder that holds everything together. You've got the pigments which are sort of like the flower of a cake, let's say. Uh, the, and they, those all have very special components. And you've got additives and solvents, which is almost like a, a vehicle, like a liquid right. component. So Benjamin Moore actually makes three out of those four components. 
The only one that we don't make is the solvent, which would basically be mineral spirits or water. Gives you that wet edge in the paint so that it's not just a gelatinous sure. goop. So everything's formulated to work together, which is why everything works so well. And that's probably the difference maker for making Benjamin Moore a little bit better than everyone else out there.